This is Kyle Brierley, Director of Product with Telium. Today we're going to walk you through the new server-side connectors workflow for Telium EventStream API Hub and Audience Stream CDP. Connectors and actions are very powerful and a core part of the application that Telium users spend time managing. This new update brings a variety of cool new features, quality of life improvements, and increased productivity. Let's jump into the demo and I'll show you how it works. Okay, let's jump over to audience stream connectors and check out some of the new features. The new home screen is designed to allow you to immediately jump in and start working. You'll notice all the actions and connectors are now expanded, but they're still grouped by the connector configuration that you're using. A new feature is the ability to toggle individual actions on and off as well as the connector configuration being used. You can also now quickly search for individual actions and connectors. The header row of the action provides summary metrics, total actions triggered, successes, and errors, as well as the audience and the trigger. And here at this level, you also have a new overflow menu where you can edit, duplicate, and remove. Let's go ahead and add a new connector, and you have two options here. First, you can use OmniSearch up at the top. Just type in the name of the connector, and you now have the option to add either an audience stream or an event stream action, or you can use the Add Connector button here. So go ahead and hit that, and you'll see the new connector marketplace. So if we search for the connector we're looking for. We can select it and you'll see the connector description page. And this kicks off the new workflow to set up your connectors and actions. So we'll go ahead and choose an audience, the trigger, and we'll name it. And at this step, we'll need to set up a new connector configuration so we'll call it Kyle webhook URL and our secret. These are the credentials that will be used to authenticate the connector and also what will be used to group the actions on the home screen. Once you're done, you'll then see a list of all the connector configurations that you have configured for a given connector. So we can see this one selected, so we'll go ahead and continue. You choose the action. So we're gonna send visitor data. And you can see now we have the required fields and the option of fields grouped here. Once you're done, go ahead and hit finish. And you're ready to start using your action. Now that we've added our action, we're back here at the home screen and we can now manage that action. So if I click on the row, you'll see the new expanded action view. And the main feature here is the new reporting graph. So let's check out another action. So you can see that we'll show you successes and errors on the graph, either by rolling month or by rolling week. Down below, we'll also show you a list of errors and the errors grouped by error code. In order to edit this action, you just come up here and hit edit right here. And we'll bring you back so you can make changes. You can also go back one step to the configurations and easily swap between connector configurations. So that is the new connector workflow for Telium Event Stream API Hub and Audience Stream CDP. For more info, you can contact us directly, visit telium.com, or head to the documentation at community.teliumiq.com. Thanks for watching.